Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to import data from Excel files for specific sheet name to SQL Server table in SSIS package. Let me show you the files we are going to use in this demo. Here I have Tech Brothers IT and uh, there, there is a date to add to it and uh, there, there is another one uh, date part is also added to that one now let's open these files and take a look here i have a customer sheet and that has id name and date of birth columns i have sheet 2 that has pretty much the same columns and the address column is also added to this sheet i have a customer 1 that has id name and date of birth so the columns are exactly matching for customer and customer 1 but our goal is to load only the sheet that has name customer. So we do not want to load customer one. We want to exact match the sheet name. Here it is customer. Let's go to the second file and take a look. Here I have my sheet that has ID name and date of birth, but I'm only interested to load a customer sheet that has, let me delete this record and save it. So this one has a ID, name and date of birth. Uh, if you have hundreds of Excel files sitting there, as long as uh, you have a customer sheet on each of them, it is going to load that. If let's say you have a Excel file that does not contain a customer sheet, uh, it's not going to do anything with that. So you don't need to worry. As long as uh, there is a file a sheet with the name customer, it is going to load. Or uh, let's say in my case, I'm saying it's a customer, but in your case, it can be anything. As long as that sheet does exist on the Excel file, it is going to load. Now, let's uh, uh, create our SSIS package. Before we create SSIS package, we need to create this uh, table. So we have ID, name and date of birth, and uh, I created this table. Uh, you can see that here it's called DBO customer because that's uh, uh, after looking at the definition of our Excel sheets uh, I have only three columns ID name and date of birth that's the data I'm going to load so on your case uh, uh, sorry in your case uh, uh, you will uh, take a look in your Excel sheet uh, and then create the table in uh, uh, SQL Server next open ssdt sql server data tools and uh, go to the ssis packages right click new ssis package and uh, i will rename that later now we will be creating uh, some variables here let's uh, create the first variable we will say source folder or we, we can call that folder path folder path this is where uh, we will be saving uh, the path of a uh, uh, folder where our excel files exist um, so i'm going to copy this come back to the SSDT and provide the value for this variable and then uh, I'm going to provide schema name for this variable it is going to be DBO why I'm creating these variables because they are important and you can use them in the configuration so tomorrow let's say you don't want to load the data to the uh, customer table you want to load the data to another customer sale table you do not have to come to the package and uh, you can make the changes uh, or pass the values uh, by using the configuration to these variables and that's how your package will uh, use those uh, values. Uh, I really recommend creating variables and then creating the configuration so you don't have to make change to the package instead you pass the values according to the configuration. Think about this scenario here I have a folder uh, folder path C drive and uh, user armor and videos and all that on uh, your QA production machine this is not gonna be the same so maybe different folder so you can pass the value through the configuration for folder path variable and you don't have to make any change to the package now as we are loading up one more thing we will say uh, file sorry sheet name to load that's where we are going to provide the sheet name let's say tomorrow uh, as of now we say it is customer sheet but it can change according to different scenarios so at least you create this variable and pass the value and also add in configuration now we need to create a connection manager as we are loading the data to the SQL server so right click here new adio.net connection uh, I'm gonna create the new one you have to provide SQL server instance name and um, the database name select our SQL Server instance, Tech Brothers IT, Convention Spring. Okay. 
rename uh, this connection manager so you can use in configuration and make sense uh, what exactly it is uh, so from here you can tell db connection okay and this is the database name so once you use in configuration this is going to be helpful to understand wh where this connection manager is pointing to we are all good save your package bring the script task here and now we will add the variables to the script task so we have variables here folder path we are going to click here uh, here in Microsoft Visual C Sharp, that's what I'm using uh, for the scripting. You can use uh, Visual Basic if you like. Uh, my the script I'm gonna provide they are written in C Sharp, so I, I will say stick with it. But if you like, we be better than C. You can have option. Now we will be choosing all those user variables. So this one and this and this. So all user variables are added to the script task now and we will click on edit script. I will put the link for the script I used in this video but from now as the video is not created and I need to go to the Tech Brothers IT and uh, give you the uh, link from there SSIS video tutorial and then I will be going to the script task heading here I have script task and under that I have here uh, how to import data from access specific sheet name so it's the number 12 here you can see and also you can read from the heading that's the heading of a video click here and uh, that's exactly tell like if you are not interested to watch a video you can follow the post and uh, perform the things first uh, we have to add these namespaces uh, to the script task I'm gonna go ahead and add click here and go to namespaces tab and uh, hit enter system.io as we are reading the file information so we have we need this uh, namespace we can use different functions from there OLED uh, data.oleddb as we are making a connection to the uh, excel and we need to use this one and uh, as uh, we will be writing data to sql we will be using this namespace and uh, uh, we will use different instance and functions from uh, this namespace uh, next uh, we will be coming to the uh, public void ma main function and here we will be pasting our uh, script uh, go back to the techbrothersit.com and copy all the script from here so we are going to go all the way till here and copy if you don't like this part see that the code is kind of gone uh, uh, on the right side and left side and they're split into two lines it's not gonna um, be problem you can just copy it fine but if you don't like this one you like it better in a clean way so you can go to the download scripts uh, right next to this scenario and uh, i have loaded uh, uh, or uploaded the, this script to the Google Drive and you can uh, copy from here so same thing you are coming all the way here and uh, till uh, we you don't see DTS dot task result uh, so it copy all the code uh, come back to the script task paste your code here or script and then uh, save it if you see that uh, let's build it so if there is any error we see that uh, error is there so we, we can fix it but there is no error so build succeeded great few more things I would like to go and tell you even the build succeeded uh, fine but there could be issues I'm declaring uh, some variables here and then uh, same uh, same in the value of uh, SSIS uh, variables uh, to the, these variables let's say folder path I have folder path fine table name schema name and a sheet name to load so you see here sheet name to load uh, I created this uh, variable and uh, trying to ma map or save the value of uh, um, DTS dot variable that's our SSIS uh, variable to this one uh, I would like to show you here you you can notice here sheet name to load so T is the uh, uppercase here and uh, in my script test it is a lowercase uh, so it is going to fail so I have to make that change if you have created different uh, names uh, for your variables you have to correct them uh, here so fine we did that and uh, next part of that it is going to get all the files uh, information uh, for us uh, from the folder path directory so here is our folder path we we know that we have provided the path and uh, that variable is containing that so we get all those files then we can loop through those files uh, and uh, load them here i am uh, declaring a variable and just uh, initializing as a blank space so f file full path this is going to be combination of our uh, C folder path plus uh, the file name uh, this is where we are uh, using our ADO.NET connection and you see that 
here I have put DB connection. That's totally wrong. According to your uh, package, you might have different name. So I'm going to change to according to mine, DB connection underscore tech brothers IT. I am doing this by purpose because I want to show you. Um, maybe you will say DB connection is not there is failing because the, the connection manager you have created in your package that's what you need to use it here now once uh, this is done we are going to loop through those uh, files uh, and get one file at a time and process it so get the file okay file full patch is equal to folder path backslash uh, file name so this is going to be the complete path uh, for our file let's say this folder path backslash this file so in the next iteration, this folder path and then this file name. Go back here. Here we are declaring a couple more variables, which is saying a string uh, connection string and string HDR header. And I'm saying header is equal to yes, because our sheet does have the header. Connection string, we are using provider microsoft.ace.oladb12.0. So we will be connecting to Excel by using this provider. And here is the file full path. So this is Excel file path. That's where it need to make a connection. Then we are saying, okay, create a new instance by using this connection string. So that's going to create a connection to our Excel file. Open a connection. And then we are reading the schema information for uh, for, uh, for those uh, you see here db dot uh, schema dot google dot tables so get all the information for all the sheets uh, and put into the, this data table once we have that we can loop through and get the uh, sheet name information now I'm declaring a variable called sheet name sheet name is equal to blank set that uh, uh, now we will uh, loop through those uh, uh, this uh, DT sheet uh, and get the sheet uh, uh, name so we say for each uh, and uh, we are uh, looping through this uh, sheet for each of the row and we are saying okay if table name contains a dollar sign that means uh, that sheet excel sheet you know that they, that has a dollar sign in that if that's true that means sheet name is equal to table name and uh, uh, that's it so now we got the sheet next part we need to confirm okay what we need to confirm we send sheet name is equal to sheet name to load that's uh, where we have provided the value remember sheet name to load this is the variable this this is where i have provided it should be equal to the customer in your case whatever the sheet you want to load and that is matching right here so our sheet this sheet name what is uh, we got from the excel that should be equal to sheet name to load if you see here remember this variable and uh, we have a uh, save to the value to this variable so we are comparing it and I have to add the dollar sign to it because sheet name does contain the dollar sign. So I provided a simple sheet name to load plus the dollar sign. So you don't have to provide the dollar sign here. Uh, as uh, in Excel, you would not see dollar sign written there. So sometimes people like, okay, why I'm providing dollar, dollar sign? So that's why, okay, you provide your simple sheet name. I will go ahead or script will go ahead and add that dollar sign. Now, once this comparison is done, it means we are doing exact match on the sheet name. Fine. Then we are getting uh, the first uh, top X uh, row from that sheet. Uh, that will help us to get the column list. Uh, and then uh, we can go against the SQL Server table and get the matching uh, columns. Uh, so tomorrow, let's say if your sheet name does match and you have extra column, uh, you don't want to, to load the data. for. There is no column available in your table for that extra column in Excel sheet. Uh, so you don't want to load that data. There is no point you will be loading it. It will throw error. So what we do in this part, what I did, I took the header and then checked against the SQL Server uh, columns for that table and said, okay, if uh, give me the matching columns which are in the Excel sheet and they are in the uh, SQL Server table and I will just grab the data for those columns and load it. This scenario can change for yourself. Let's say if there you feel like okay if, if there is an extra column in the Excel sheet you don't want to load it and you want to log that information to a table and just move to the next uh, Excel file and sheet. You can do that. I have a post, I have a video how to check uh, and log the information and only load the matching where exact match for the columns in Excel sheet and 
uh, table uh, is present. So you can use that part here. Uh, you can copy and paste pretty much this, this part and remove that, this uh, and this will work. So I would recommend watching that video. Now, once uh, we got this SQL column list, uh, matching list, uh, if there is extra column, it's going to ignore it and we will uh, go back to the Excel again and get the data for uh, matching columns only. Once we have that, we will load that data into the data table one and we are almost done here. So we will say use bulk SQL, uh, sorry, SQL bulk copy to write that data from DT1 to the table. Here we are saying our table is a schema name plus table name. That's our destination table. And we are doing the mapping here. So your columns from the DT1 map to the our uh, destination table and then write the data to the table and that's all we need to do uh, again here this is the important part where we do an exact match if you don't want to do exact match I have another video where it say contains if even name uh, does contain that pattern if uh, the customer um, uh, keyword does exist in the sheet name so you can watch that video as well so you once you make small changes here you can adjust to your requirement save your code close this window hit ok we are all good I'm going to show you there is no data in the customer table as of now and if we run the package it should load those two sheets from each Excel file and it will ignore the other sheets that does not match with our pattern uh, here we are asking only load the customer sheet and you see that we have a, uh, this is coming from the first excel file and this is coming from the second excel file where our sheet name was customer so it did not load my sheet or sheet 2 and all that because that is the sheet name does not match with our uh, pattern here we want the uh, only load the sheet where it, uh, sheet name is equal to customer let's go back and change it so as i was saying okay we can change it and do this and that so let's uh, consider this one now i'm only interested to load customer one not interested to load sheet any sheet but only customer one and i have only customer one only in one excel file so it should load only one record let's go back here truncate this table no records because that's what I was trying to tell you guys um, you can just change this value by using configuration you don't have to do anything and your package is dynamic great complete it successfully go to the Excel sorry SSMS run it and you see that this is the only record was there and data but was null it, there was no uh, data birth available so it loaded that record that's uh, great and i really appreciate your time uh, for watching this video and i hope you learned something out of it i will see you guys in the next video and uh, just remember i will put the link in the description for the script used in this video so you don't have to go to that techbrothersit.com and open the link from there it will be in the description so you can open it copy the code and start using it thanks